Pray for a Rainbow, written by Wendy Arvella, illustrated by Wayne Takazono. There was a boy from Hawaii named Kimo. At the age of 10, Kimo moved with his mother and father from Hawaii to New York. His father was a scientist and had been assigned to do research there. Kimo was very sad to leave Hawaii and his friends, but he was looking forward to the adventure of going somewhere that he had never been before. Right away, Kimo made new friends in New York. Emily was his first and best friend. She had just moved there from Los Angeles. They were the new kids at school and usually ate lunch at the same table. They also lived on the same block. So they sometimes walked to school together and played together on weekends with their other friends in the neighborhood. All of Kimo's new friends loved to hear him talk about Hawaii, especially Emily. Kimo and Emily were in the same art class. They both liked that class because Mrs. Kiefer was the nicest teacher they'd ever had. Kimo loved to paint Hawaii. Sometimes Mrs. Kiefer would share Kimo's paintings with the class to show them Hawaii's unique beauty. Some of the other kids in class were also good artists and Kimo learned a lot about other parts of the world from their paintings as well. Mrs. Kiefer made art class so much fun. Every day she would ask the children to paint or make something different. She paid close attention to each student and made everyone feel special. She encouraged them all to be creative. One day, Mrs. Kiefer asked the class to paint flowers. Most of the class painted daisies, but Kimo painted the tropical flowers of Hawaii. Some of his classmates had never seen flowers like the hibiscus and the ginger he painted. Mrs. Kiefer explained, because while the weather in Hawaii is usually sunny, some very unusual tropical flowers, fruits, plants, and trees grow there all year round. The next day, Mrs. Kiefer asked the class to paint fish. Almost everyone painted goldfish, but Kimo painted the exotic fish of Hawaii like the colorful parrotfish called the uhu in Hawaiian. Mrs. Kiefer told the class that the warm, unpolluted waters of the Hawaiian Islands were home to all kinds of colorful marine life, she said. These fish, turtles, sharks, stingrays, and other creatures could not survive in the colder climates found in other parts of the world. Sometimes the class painted birds. Many of the students painted pigeons because there are so many of them in New York that Kimo painted the bright red eevee, a native species that's found primarily in the mountains of the islands. Until he moved to New York, Kimo didn't realize how different Hawaii was from other places in the world. He was happy to share the beauty of the islands with his classmates. Today we're going to paint the sky, Mrs. Kiefer said cheerfully one clear day. Almost all of Kimo's classmates painted the sky blue with a bright red yellow sun, but he painted it gold, orange, and purple with pink clouds, which are the only, which are the colors of a typical Hawaiian sunset, Mrs. Kiefer said. That's the prettiest sunset I've ever seen. One weekend while they were playing with friends at Kimo's home, Emily asked, Do you think I can paint Hawaii? Kimo said, sure, but first let me show you my photo album of Hawaii so that you can choose what you want to paint. Emily stopped at a picture with a rainbow in it and said, I've never seen a real ho rainbow before. Surprise, Kimo replied. Really? We saw them all the time in Hawaii, almost every day. Emily said, you're lucky. I wish I could see one someday. Kimo's father overheard them and explained how rainbows are formed. The rainbow is a multicolored arc of sunlight reflected like a diamond through moisture or raindrops in the air. Rainbows occasionally appear after it rains and the sun moves out from behind the clouds. Because of Hawaii's moist, warm climate, some of the most awesome rainbows appear there. Kimo's mother joined them and said, Some people believe that the rainbow is a miraculous creation and a sign from heaven that we will always be protected. A few days later, Emily was absent from art class. Kimo went to her home after school to see what had happened to her. Emily's mom told him that she wasn't feeling well and that she had gone to the hospital for tests. Kimo ran to the hospital, which is only a couple of blocks away. There, Emily's doctor, Dr. Dugan, said that she was very ill and couldn't have any visitors that day. He told Kimo to come back the next day if he wanted to see her. Kimo was very, very sad that Emily was sick. With tears in his eyes, he walked home. It was a rainy day, so he pulled his jacket over his head to keep dry and to hide his tears. When Kimo got home, his mom said sternly, you're late. Then she noticed his tears and gently asked, why are you so sad? Kimo told her that Emily was sick and in the hospital. His mom took him in her arms and told him that sometimes people get sick. She said, all around the world, innocent children and adults suffer from sickness and disease. It is not their fault or yours, but there's always hope that they will be healed. She kissed his forehead and said, it does not help for you to worry. The best thing that you can do is pray for Emily and hope that she gets better soon. You should visit her and bring her a gift tomorrow to show her that you care. That night after dinner, Kimo went to his room to finish his homework. 
He started to thinking about Emily and remembered what his mom had said. He decided to pray for a rainbow as a sign of protection for Emily and hoped that she would be strong and healthy again. Weeks later, Emily was still in the hospital. After several more tests, Dr. Dugan determined that she had cancer. He explained to her family that if she had radiation therapy, she could recover. He said radiation therapy is a treatment that usually destroys cancer cells. One of the problems, though, is that Emily's hair will probably fall out. During her long stay in the hospital, Emily was lonely and afraid, especially after she lost most of her hair. She had a favorite denim hat that she wore all the time to keep her head warm. She remembered what Kimo's mom had said and prayed for a rainbow as a sign of protection and asked that she would get well. She started to paint rainbows when she was alone. That helped her keep her mind off of her pain and her fear. Along with Emily's other teachers, Mrs. Kiefer sent her flowers regularly while she was in the hospital. Emily's mom, dad, sisters, grandparents, aunt, uncles, and cousins went to visit her every day. They loved Emily very much and were praying for her to get well soon. Many of her classmates also went to visit her. Kimo went at least once a week, always bringing her pictures of Hawaii that he had painted in the art class to cheer her up. Emily's favorite was a beautiful rainbow that he had painted just for her. Kimo also gave Emily the photo of a rainbow that she liked from his photo Hawaii album even though it was his favorite. She taped Kimo's pictures on the walls of her hospital room next to all the rainbows that she'd painted. Her room was full of rainbows, including one of a beautiful, brightly double-colored brightly colored double rainbow. They made her feel happy and protected when she was afraid. Even the doctors and nurses were cheered when they saw all the rainbows on the walls in Emily's room. Dr. Dugan said, Rainbows remind us that after every storm, the sun will always shine again. Several months passed. Kimo was walking to school one morning when he heard Emily calling, wait for me. He turned around and there she was. She told him that the radiation therapy had worked and that she was feeling much better. So Dr. Dugan said that she could come back to school. Emily said, thank you so much for coming to visit me when I was in the hospital and especially for the rainbow photo from Hawaii. That rainbow really made me feel happy and safe. Kimo was glad to see her well again and to know that his photo of the rainbow had helped her through a traumatic time in her life. It started to rain, so they ran to school together under her umbrella. Later that day, Kimo was walking across the playground to his art class. He looked up in the, to the sky and couldn't believe what he saw. It was a double rainbow that seemed to arc directly over the school. He ran to find Emily, shouting, Here's the rainbow I prayed for! Everyone in... Everyone in Kimo's art class rushed outside to see the rainbow. Amazed, Mrs. Kiefer said, I've never seen such a beautiful rainbow before in New York or anywhere else. It's incredible. Emily jumped up and down with joy. She said, look, Kimo, it's the rainbow I've been praying for. It's the double rainbow I painted in the hospital. Kimo was so happy that Emily was healthy again and that she finally had seen a real rainbow. He was sure that because they had both prayed for a rainbow, this miraculous sign from heaven had appeared, especially for them. The end.